Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus and in today's video I will show you how to start monitoring your website's downtime. But before we get into that, I want to talk about why it is important to do that. Well, if you aren't monitoring your website's downtime, then you can't really know if you have a problem or not. If your website is constantly down, then you will experience these two major problems. The first one is you will receive less search engine traffic. If your website is consistently down, search engines will rank you lower and you will get less traffic. Well, to experience this problem, you actually need to have a really long downtimes. But you should be aware of this problem, that it can occur. The next problem is loss in reputation. If visitors go to your website and they can't load your site, uh, after some time they will stop coming to your site and you will lose traffic and business reputation. So, monitoring your website's downtime is very important and I want to share a tool with you, a free tool that allows you to do just that and I will show you how to use it right now. The free tool that I'm talking about is pingdom.com. To register for a free account, go to pingdom.com slash free. Uh, enter your email address and the password and click sign up for a free account. Once you signed up, you will need to enter more information about yourself, your first name, last name. Click save changes. After that, you will need to choose the date format and the number format. Also click save changes. Then you will need to enter the URL of your blog or website. For example purposes, I will use google.com. And then you will need to set up the check interval. How often you want your website to be checked? Uh, is it down or not? It can be from a minute to an hour. I recommend leaving it to one minute. And of course you want to check this to get alerts. You can get alerts uh, via email or using your cell phone. Uh, you get 20 free credits with your free account and and the setting that you need to be aware here is this one how long your website needs to be down for you to get an alert uh, at default it is five minutes so after five minutes that your website is down you will get an alert if you set it to instantly uh, even after a second that your website is down you will receive an alert and you can set it up up to 60 minutes I also recommend it to leave at the default to 5 minutes. After you have set it all up, cl click create check. And you're basically done here. Now you're here, you can see your dashboard. And we have just created this account, so there is no data. But after an hour or so, you should start receiving some numbers. Uh, you will here see the downtime and uptime percentages. Your uptime should be around 99%. If it's less, then you might want to consider changing up your web host. And you will also see this response time report, which is basically the loading time of your website. So once you have it all set up, you can start monitoring your website for your for downtimes. If you experience huge downtimes, then you need to check um, with your hosting account maybe start maybe start using a different hosting account so hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one